He won the two most important games in pro football history and was the last coach to earn championships in different leagues. Towering achievements for this modest man with the unwieldy name. Well, my younger brother tried to say Wilbur, and, and my mother was about the only one that used it. <laughs> and and my, my daughter said, I don't know why Grandma picked that name. Do many people ever call you Ube Weebank? Yes, I think they do a lot of times, Billy, but uh, th that isn't the one that bothers me much. It's uh, some of those names they've called me throughout this five years when things didn't go right. That, that bothered me most. Indeed, joyful moments were scarce when Weeb first took over the dreadful Colts in 1954. I think that when Weeb Eubank came in and said it's going to take me five years, I think that Weeb was just saying something to satisfy the sports writers and to pacify the owner because I can't believe that you ever could have projected that that team in five years was going to win, uh, ostensibly, the greatest game ever played. United gives to Amici, the first of the world champions, Amici scores! As I look back now, I think Weeb was probably one of the great coaches uh, of all time. He was a good organizer. He spent a lot of time, uh, you know, during practice, and a lot of preparation time. He was just like a school teacher, and uh, he did things that, uh, you know, other coaches didn't know about. He had all his halfbacks learn wide receiver positions, because, you know, at that time, we only had 33, 35 guys on the team. So in case anybody went down, we always had backup. And this was through Weeb's genius. Eubank was a calculating man who could also be emotional. Something the giant Sam Huff, number 70, learned after tackling end Raymond Berry. It was a legal hit. I didn't hurt him. And when I get up, Weeb Eubank punches me in a little guy, punches me up on a hip bump. You know, I didn't, I didn't even know, really know what happened. But he was swinging and punching and kicking and trying to get on Sam up. I don't like it. I don't like them trying to hurt our players. But it was Weeb's gentle nature that led to his downfall with the Colts. We were just so nice that what eventually happened, some players start taking advantage of nice guys. Uh, and that's what happened with Baltimore. Some of the players uh, start relaxing a little more than they should. Fired from the team he had built from nothing, Weeb next revived the woeful Jets with strategies that revolutionized the way linemen protected the quarterback. Coach Eubank had some really good things early on when it came to the passing game and pass protection technique. Coach Eubank believed in not letting our offensive line back, 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 back up. But we believed in taking them on right now, which was absolutely different than the other pass protection schemes. Eubank was equally innovative when it came to dealing with the free-spirited athletes of the 1960s. We was way ahead of his times as far as when people think of him being an old-fashioned coach. We, when it came to the Super Bowl, had the Jet players uh, bring their wives, which no one else had done at that time, to the uh, Super Bowl. And he said, uh, who better to check on the players than their wives? And let's hope the bachelors don't get too lucky. On game day, Eubank eased the pressure on his 18-point underdog Jets with a bold locker room declaration. I said, when we win this game, don't carry the old man off the field. Make a fireman carry and take me off gently because you sure as hell hurt my hip in the last game. And a lot of guys' eyes popped open when he said that. You know, he didn't say if, he said when we win this game. And that meant a lot to a lot of the players out there that day. Good footing down there. It is not good footing down. I come back the same thing. Inside the 10 yard line, the hand off to Snell. He may go, and he's in there. I've always said that I think Weeb Eubank was the finest football coach that ever, ever coached the game. He took two of the worst teams that ever were in the NFL and made them world champions. Now, how much better can you be than that? 